Hi YouTubers and designers. I am Mac Desmond and this is our channel. In our channel today we have to learn a tutorial in a Lightroom. So this is our photograph and how we can be changed and this photograph to, to this one. Okay, let's get started. Just open your photograph inside the Lightroom and key Control plus FS if you mark or command to that apostrophe to make the virtual copy created of this. Then we have to need the more space to create this. So click this arrow mark to begin that one to see the work area are visible or more. Then we have to discuss something in the picture. There are some reds, oranges, yellows and white colors in this one and from this girl a kind of a dusk color whitey this means half white or dusky some color of the dress will be there. So this photograph I like a too much of anything. So I keep the temperature to be kind to the minus of 36 nearby 36 only so then I began to the tint you add some more the tint to this so what it will be happening you can see the before and after watch this the cool or vibrant colors we just kick it off when you kick off all these things you can come along to the tone curve so when to the tone curve the highlights you can push into nearly 40% so 40 to 41 or something so this looks better so what will be happening in the hair and everything the highlights will be very good so the tone of the skin the skin tones of the girl as also looks very good then I begin back I kick the light into nearly 30% that means plus 33 then I kick the dogs too much more to the nearliest every to 70 or something so what will be happening so kick the before and this is the after so this one leaf falling down to this is perfectly looks very matching then I comes to shadow it's actually very much look to kick back to the shadows then again I come to the HSL that means hue saturation luminance in the hue the back side of the red color the some of the crotons or some plants and whatever the things I don't know but the red is very nice to see at the back in the blurry surface then to the orange I just a kick back into some other pushing then the yellow you need to push into 8 something then the orange need to lay to 30% of some things right then in the noise on the split reductions if you want to go to the split tone reductions you can use this hue and saturation boards but I have to increase the balance of nearly plus 10 then I come back into sharpening details and the noise reduction if you like to the sharpen reductions for the sharpen I just little bit only plus 5 why because see this the before the girls dress and everything looks like dull now you can kick the dress and everything will be very smooth and kind of a good clarity and comes to the noise reduction for the luminance power you can kick the luminance into a nice above 50 then to the detail I give back into more than 60 then the contrast level 
I just push into a little bit 15 to 20 some points will be there then the colors saturation will be so nice look then coming to the lens correction I have enabled this profile and clicking to some other little custom then I kick back into my Canon profile so the DSLR lens and everything I just into the 50 millimeter and the one point of say so what will be happening it is the fish eye lens like look like then the distortion power 113 is very much clearance looks to the virus then the vignette I just bring back into a little bit so now whatever the looks and everything we have to kick here the backslash to before and after see this this is before and this is the after so I bring back to the F8 so if you want the big night like kind of this one so this is the background ignite so I punch into minus 25 to 30 some of the things if you want the midpoint you can change wherever something but I don't hang so if you want to add some flim grains that will be nice one so I add a little bit of 5 only then the size 25 and the roughness is going to 50 so this is the one what I have into this one so I much look this so watch the last one so this is the before and this is the after then I come back into tools and to the radial filter so draw the radial filter upon to the subject looks nice then bring back to the temperature level a little bit of nice bluish right then coming to and the deep fringe a little bit add then the two points will be there the clarity I kick back into minus 100 and the sharpness I just kick into minus 30 then comes to the last one bring the hue and the saturation in the split tone you have to kick a little one of the blue then you can see much blue inside your picture then I come here then I click my turn so this is the hundred percent what we are done in the light room so here is the before and this is the one after so if you like this video please like my video and give a share and give me a subscribe smile if you had the PayPal or something means please throw me a some dollars to help me out to buy a, a new PC thank you for watching this video until then bye bye have a great day have a nice time mac desmond